Equally important to this whole process is the wardrobe. We have a costume designer named Ruth Carter to make sure that both Africa and the United States represent history as it was. What I'm trying to do with this new roots is bring a lot more detail uh, to the story. Since we go through several eras in roots, I'm constantly looking at research and making sure that I'm hitting the mark. Photography was not invented until 1840, and we started in 1750. So I uh, looked at a lot of art history. One of the things that popped up was the indigo color. Most of the slave films that we have seen in the past were all beige. All that is very true. Slaves were able to dye their cloths, and the indigo also helped them in the fields with the bugs and the mosquitoes, little did we know. And so we talked about the indigo that, that also goes back to the Mandinka culture and tribe in Africa, and that their cloth was this indigo blue. And when you see color, it just see, evokes emotion. And we discovered that we could take advantage of the indigo telling the story. So if I was doing a head wrap on Kizzy, you know, it would harken back to the indigo that come to war in his training as a young man. And, you know, without being too obvious, you know, trying to keep something as simple as the color blue continual throughout our story.